hello and welcome in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to animate the ninja run in blender 2.81 this will be a, a two-part a two-part series and two-part tutorial and the first part will just be import we will just be importing a character in the viewport so let's begin It's fine if you have your own character. It will. It will just the same process. Anyway. Import. We're going to split the viewport. This will be for the side view, and this will be for the front. Zoom in. As you can see, we have all these other stuffs that uh, we are not, we don't need, so we are just going to hide them. And just remain with the body. Done. We are going to select the amateur and go into edit mode but first things first we're going to change something in the in the viewport display we're changing we're going to change from stick to octahedra we are going to remove the color or the bone colors and then we can begin adding some inverse kinematics to the amateur. Okay, first we're going to select the left foot bone. And select left foot bone, and then we're going to du duplicate. We are going to unparent it from the shin bone or the leg bone. Out P then clear parent we are going, uh, going to select the right foot bone duplicate out P clear parent and then we are going to go change and go into pause mode and select the left shin bone or leg bone and go to constraints and then we are going to add inverse kinematics we are going to select in our target properties we are going to select amateur and we are going to select First, you know what? Let's rename the bones that we've duplicated. We are going to name we are going to rename the leg ankle leg left ankle to zero zero to something entirely different bone properties here we are going to say ik deselect I'm going to do the same for the other bone as well. And then we're going to change and go into pause mode. So we're going back to our shin bone and <clears throat> in the constraints, we're going to select IK for the left, left leg IK. And on the right side, 
we are going to select there we are also going to add a construct the inverse kinematics on the right select amateur ik and here in the chain length change it from 0 to 2 and do the same for the left one as well 1 2 this means that when you move anyway you see it just keep watching okay here we go so we are going to select the IK bone and we're going to move it just so you see that it's working as you can see it's working very well but we are going to do something else as well we are going to add a copy cost copy rotation to the original left foot bone oh, there it is and then copy rotation same thing amateur IK left and on the right side same thing we are going to select the original foot bone right foot bone and add a copy copy rotation constraint there it is amateur and then IK that way that way when we move uh, the IK the foot the bone also follows or rotates in the same direction the IK is rotating so let's add a few more things we're going to add a control bone for the IKs for both of the inverse kinematic bones and some poor targets for the knees so we're going back in pause mode uh, object mode uh, edit mode for that in edit mode and then we're going to select the anchor and put our cursor right there and say shift s cursor to selected and then shift a we are going to add a bone hold g uh, g hold control and then rotate the bone just like this let's give it a name left IK control deselect do the same thing for the right leg put the I put the cursor on the ankle cursor to select it. shift A G hold control or command if you are using a mark and done and then we are going to parent the IK to this new bone to these new bones the IKs to these new bones we we'll start with the left one uh, first let's rename this one okay right IK control select the IK bone and shift shift select the new bones the control bones that you've just created press control P keep offset uh, do the same on the left leg select the IK bone 
select the control bone hold shift and select the control bone control p keep offset and we are going to change we are going to change back to pause mode and see what and see what what is happening so when we move the control bone like this as you can see the leg is moving as well and then we are going back we are going back into edit mode and we are going to add some port targets right on the news select the the mid just the midpoint of the knee shift s okay so to select it shift a add in a bone select select the yeah the mid go to the right and select the midpoint shift s okay so to selected shift a add in a adding a new bone we are going to select both of these bones and move them to just uh, we are just going to move them in front a bit and then we are going to give them names so for this one we are going to say left knee control and same thing for this one as well right knee control enter we are just going to scale them a bit that right is there because they're just too big for him. Okay, and done. So we're going back to pause mode. And then select the shin bone. We are the ones with the high case on it and go here port target select amateur excuse me as for the bones select knee left knee control when it did when it does something like this all you have to do is go and go here or angle negative 90 and then it's back to normal do the same for the right port target amateur bone knee right knee control for this one press negative 90 degrees and you're done so this is all we need to do for now for this part this is the part one in part two we will now start animating the run thank you for watching